Hey everybody, Mariah here, day two of our 21 day yoga challenge. Thank you for arriving on the mat. So let's go ahead and build a nice seated pose. Now, we often talk, call this posture simple seated, but this posture really isn't so simple. So find some semblance of a cross-legged position that works comfortably for your body. You can sit in for a couple of minutes. So again, thank you for arriving, and let's go ahead and close the eyes as we begin our yoga practice today. So lengthening the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and dropping the sit bones down into your yoga mat. Roll the shoulders up towards your ears and down your back as you open the palms of the hands up towards the ceiling. Softening the jaw, the outer edges of your tongue, and the space between your eyes, even moving so far as to soften the eyes beneath the eyelids and the space behind your eyes, your brain, your mind. And now for today, in this moment, as we sit here together, set a color to your inhalation. Inhaling that color as it fills your entire body and exhaling that color as that color surrounds you on your yoga mat. So inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Not only will you feel this breath as it moves in and out of your body, but now since you've set a color to it, you can see it. And you can see more clearly into the body and into the breath with the eyes closed. Inhaling and exhaling. See this color fill your entire body. And see this color surround you like a protective bubble around your yoga mat, around your body. Filling perhaps the room that you're practicing in. Invite joy into this breath. Invite yourself to feel and to be nurtured by this breath. And as you continue to inhale and exhale, lengthen the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and root the sit bones down into your mouth. See the color that you're inhaling and exhaling. Feel the nourishment as we prepare for our asana practice as we prepare for the moving practice of yoga. And now everybody, all of us, myself included, draw the palms together at the heart, gently tucking the chin here to set an intention to bring meaning into this movement, to the breath, and to the space in between, and to honor who we are as individual people throughout this practice. And now flutter the eyes open into the room and take a deep inhale as you lift the fingertips up towards the ceiling and allow the arms to drop down by your sides on the exhalation. Inhale all the way up as if swooping up towards the ceiling, up above the head. And now exhale, palms come together in front of the heart. Again, take another inhale, fingertips to sky. Exhale, arms down by your sides, release the air from the body, and inhale, fingertips rise. Palms come together, exhale as you draw everything in towards center. So we start by untying the legs. Untie the legs and come into table pose, just as we did yesterday. Building a strong foundation in this posture now. 
Reach the back of the heart up towards the ceiling as you tuck the chin, tuck the tail. And now drop down into one cow pose, untucking the tail, and feel that space just below the navel all the way up the front part of your body into the center of your throat. Lots of space. And wag side to side. And back into table. From table pose, we take the Venus salute, reach the left hand up towards the ceiling, and drop that left shoulder down onto the floor, threading the needle, press the right hand into the mat. Lift those right fingertips up towards the ceiling, creating an L shape with your arms. Closing the eyes or opening on your choice. Feel that stretch in the shoulder, also in the internal organs as we move through. Press the right palm of the hand in towards the floor and reach the left fingertips up towards the sky and the left hand hits the floor opposite side straight away. Reach those right fingertips up towards the ceiling and drop the shoulder. Left hand to the ceiling. And press yourself up and out. Tuck the toes, press back into downward facing dog. Bend one knee and then the other. Check in with where you are today. As each and every day throughout this challenge, we start exactly where we are. Everything takes time, everything takes practice. So committing to this time on your yoga mat. Extend the left leg back behind you and bring that left foot forward. Drop the right knee and take the left fingertips up towards the ceiling, twisting low lunge. And release yourself from this pose. Step back to plank, drop the knees, cross the ankles, chaturanga to upward facing dog. Slowly creating space in the body and reaching back. This time, right leg extends back behind you, right foot forward, drop the left knee, twisting towards that bent knee as you reach the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Low lunge, twisting low lunge. And hand comes down to the floor. Again, another vinyasa, so step it back. This time, stay off of the knees, drop down, chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Extend the left leg back behind you. Bring the left foot forward. Crescent pose, just like yesterday. Reach up, shoulders root down the back. Ribs move back, belly moves back. And now open up into warrior two. Reaching forward and back. Gaze over those front fingertips. Powerful warrior two pose. And now reach forward and scoop it back for reverse warrior two. Reach back so you feel the space lengthen on the side body, your obliques. Now lengthen through the front knee and drift down as we flow through into triangle pose. These poses are key postures for your yoga practice. Hands come down to the floor. This is pyramid pose, that front leg is straight. As you sink down, folding over that front straight leg, inhale, lift up and out. Reach the crown of the head towards the front of the back, and now sink down again. Pivot the back foot, step that left foot back into a uh, plank pose, and reach the back of the heart up towards the ceiling. Drop down, chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. So moving through the same flow on the right side. So extend the right leg back behind you. Right foot comes forward, preparing for crescent pose. Reach forward and to the sky. Root the shoulders down the back. Come on down to the front ribs, move them back. Hollow up the belly and engage the base of the pelvic floor. Open up into warrior two. Gaze over those front fingertips. Deep seat with that front knee. Deeply bent, maybe even into a 90 degree angle. And now scoop forward and back. Reverse warrior two. Again, feeling this in the side body as you create a lot of space. And lengthen through the front knee. Drop down into triangle pose. Squeeze the back of the heart gently and gaze up towards the ceiling. 
Hands come down to the floor for this pyramid pose. You can step the back foot in a little bit, sink first, and now inhale. Reach the chest off of that front thigh and the crown of the head towards the front of the back. And now sink down on your exhalation. Pivot the back foot. Step back to plank. Power up your plank pose. Come to the tips of the toes, round the back of the heart, up towards the ceiling. And now drop it down. Chaturanga to upward facing dog. And back into downward facing dog. Find the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And now step to the top of the mat for a couple of sun salutations. Open up the arms as you reach the fingertips away from the body into the sky. Palms together in front of your heart, bowing to this practice. Let the head hang. Take an inhale, halfway up. And exhale, all the way back down. Step one foot at a time, back to plank. Shoulders move beyond the wrists. Drop down, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Moving a little faster now, pop to the top of the mat. Open up, rise. Palms come together, bow. Fold forward. Opposite foot steps back, step the left foot back, then the right. Shoulders move beyond the wrists, drop down, chaturanga, dive onto the wave. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. And last one, step to the top of the mat, expand, open, and bow. Bow forward. This time, inhale, part way up. Long, strong spine, 90 degree angle in the body. And now fold it all the way down. Opposite foot back. Plank pose, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Drop down to your knees, come all the way back into child pose. Knees nice and wide, cross the big toes back behind you. And walk both hands over towards the right. and through center to the opposite side. And back to center as we prepare for our balance pose, tree pose today. Come back into downward facing dog. Walk the feet one step forward and the hands one step back. Fold here and bring the hands to the hips and preparing for tree pose. So super strong, imagine these roots growing down into the earth through your yoga path. So first we balance on the right foot. Taking some baby steps to arrive so that we can build some nice solid posture and in the end feel strong and sturdy in our balance pose. So take the left ankle, the left heel rather, to the right ankle. Shoulders down the back, press the palms of the hands together. And with this, you draw everything in towards midline. So if you wish, you can take the foot up to the inner calf or perhaps the inner thigh. Again, drawing everything in towards midline, hollowing out the belly, shoulders down the back. Find a gaze point somewhere out in front of you. And reach those fingertips up towards the ceiling and open up the arms wide like the branches of a tree, reaching out from the tree itself, from the trunk, as you reach the sole of the foot down into the earth, just like roots, finding your balance. Now, hug the front ribs back, hollow out the belly, and reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. The affirmation for this posture is, I am calm, I am poised, I like, I am calm, I am powerful. You choose the affirmation that works for you. And now take the palms back to your heart. And with precision, with mindfulness, stand on the space right in front of you and place that foot down onto the floor, preparing for the opposite side. Again, baby steps, 
Heel to ankle, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling, drop the shoulders. Strong body. You place the sole of the foot on the inner calf, or perhaps the inner thigh. Draw everything in towards midline. Sit super tall, stand super tall. The roots growing, the branches growing, and open up into your tree pose. Bouncing on one leg. Super strong, super powerful. I am calm, I am powerful. Start exactly where you are. If you fall out, come back in. Draw everything back. And with precision, with mindfulness, stand on that space right in front of you and place that foot down onto the floor. When that foot hits the floor, reach those arms up and overhead reaching for an upward facing salute and bowing forward to this practice. Let the head hang. Now situate yourself in a way that you can take the feet nice and wide. So with the feet wide, turn the toes in toward one another and we come into our final forward fold together. So folding over those straight legs, the legs nice and wide, as you can see, almost as long as your yoga mat. Shake the head no, and yes. Grab from the ankles, the outer calf, even the hips. Your choice, just pull yourself gently into this forward fold. And finally, coming up and out. Place yourself in a way that you can lean over or fold over your straight legs, reach to the sky, and fold. Reach the fingertips beyond the feet, all the way up towards the ceiling, and down towards the floor as you scoot back into a fully reclined position. Preparing for a twist. This time today, we take the twist where you place the left leg over the right leg, the right leg over the left leg in this case, and squeeze the inner thighs together. Open up the, the arms away from one another. And with the right leg over the left leg, drop both legs to the left. Gaze to the right, completing the twist. Untwisting, twist the legs in the opposite direction. Left leg on top of the right leg. Now both legs drop over to the right. Gaze over towards the left. Untwisting the legs and preparing for a couple of minutes in Shavasana. So again, build the pose. Get comfortable in the pose so the front part of your body can be heavy into the back part and the back part heavy into your yoga mat. Feet splay away from one another, very center of your palms, soft. Wiggle your way into stillness. Eyes are closed, face is soft. Return to the color that you set to your breath at the beginning of your practice today. Inhaling that color and see and feel that color wash over the outside of your body and the inside of your body. As you exhale, see and feel this color surround you on your yoga mat. As your protective bubble always, always able to return to your breath, to reconnect with yourself, with your practice, with your body, with your mind. The breath enables us to also check in with our emotions. Return to the breath regularly to tune back in.
Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Roll to your right side and curl up into a little ball on the right side of your body. And now pressing yourself up into seated using the strength of your arms. Settle back into your simple seated pose. Closing the eyes and bringing the palms of the hands together at your heart. Thumbs pressing gently into the very center of your chest. Thank you for practicing yoga today. Thank you for being exactly as you are. And thank you for honoring yourself enough to start where you are. Practice makes possible. Namaste.